eat some Thai food. Okay, Voka. or already midday actually because we took this morning the ferry to go from Phuket where we actually did a video about uh, one week eating in Phuket you can find it over here or here and now we are in Koh Lanta it's actually pretty easy to take the ferry. We had to go to Rayleigh and then we had to change the ferry to come here to Kolanta. It was around 25 euros per person and it took us now <laughs> around five hours to come, more or less. Uh, but now we're here in the eastern part of the island, which is not as touristic as, as the western part. Um, and now we're gonna explore this part for a while, but we also will take you with us to the western part of the island. We got this hotel which is actually super nice and on the eastern part of the island we have a pool which we will not always have around here um, but it was a very nice offer for the weekend it only cost us 55 euros for the whole weekend from Friday to Monday and uh, the rooms are very clean super nice and we can rent a scooter directly here for 250 baht which is around uh, which is around six euros per day and you can also get your laundry done here i think it's a pretty nice offer and we're gonna stay here for the weekend and for the week for during the week we're gonna move to another hotel because we're both gonna be working and need a little bit more space exactly so let's explore it In this video, we want to take you with us to explore the cute little Kolanta Old Town. It is a very relaxed and laid-back local village that has its own walking street, which is for Thai standards not common, but really nice to be able to walk around and explore the nice coffee shops, restaurants and stores. On the weekends, the walking street transform into a market and you can find all kinds of nice snacks. Most of the tourists will stop by just during a day tour, but we decided that we want to stay here for one week working and exploring a little bit more of the traditional Thai life that you can see around here. One of the main reasons that I convinced Foka to stay in Lanta Otan instead of the beautiful beaches on the western side of the island are its nice looking traditional Thai restaurants. Yes, we decide where we take the accommodation due to the amount of restaurants that are close by. <laughs> <laughs> and I finally got my biggest love in Thailand, Panang curry. What about mango sticky rice? No, no, Panang curry. Wow. Está muy bueno, muy muy bueno. ¿Sí? Tal vez es el mejor que hemos tenido hasta ahora. Y solo con una cucharada, ¿eh? Claro. Although we are not big fans of Pad Thai, today we decided to give it another try. By the way, did you know that Pad Thai is actually not a traditional Thai dish? It was invented by a Thai dictator known as Pibon during the 1940s. The guy wanted to create a national dish for the Thai people, but also because those years the rice harvest in Thailand wasn't so good. Therefore, he needed to find a substitute. And what's better than the rice noodles, which do not easily expire and could stay on the shelf much longer than rice? Interestingly, Lanta Otan has a lot of Chinese influence, 
quite similar to Phuket and other southern Thai islands. In the more south we went in Thailand, we could see more similarities between Thailand and Malaysia. Therefore you can find here more masaman curry instead of panang curry and they even serve it with roti sometimes. Wow, wow, wow. This mango sticky rice is just delicious. And now let's go to our favorite coffee spot. It is owned by a lovely elder couple together with their son. During the day we get our coffee here, but in the evening they are also preparing really nice cocktails which are basically freshly made fruit shakes with a little bit of rum. <laughs> Never felt tomorrow closing in this fast Oh, I guess time's in a rush Leaves are falling down But at least they grow back While I'm on a one-way track Now I know What it means to grow just arrived in this beautiful cafe here in the middle of nowhere but it's very close to Kolanta town and um, it was just a um, 10 minutes drive maybe five minutes drive and it's in the middle of the jungle it's super nice and this is what we usually do in the mornings when we have to work in the afternoon we don't have so much time to spare so we look for a nice place to have a coffee, to have a slow start in the morning, to explore a little bit of the surroundings and uh, look how beautiful they do the coffee here. I got the orange americano and Lee got the Thai tea with espresso. So cheers! And then we also got some pancakes. Uh, for breakfast, uh, pancakes with chocolate sauce, and mango, and green tea ice. Looks amazing. We usually don't have breakfast, but this one looks really good. Today we wanted to take the time to find some souvenirs in these very cute little shops that you can find all over Kolanta town. Shopping here is really relaxing. No one is trying to sell you something and you have all the time you need and the vendors are not pushy at all, which kind of reflects the general vibe of the island, which we are really enjoying. Apart from tourism, the village also lives from fishing and agriculture. Therefore, today we want to eat some local fish and see how they prepare it. As you can see here in the restaurant, most of the houses that are built at the sea are actually built on stilts. This is due to the changing tide here. And when the tide is high, it feels like almost you're floating on the sea. But let's go back to the fish. Today we ordered fish with mango salad and squid and garlic and black pepper sauce.
on. A fresh fish with mango salad. It's really nice. Zeleka. Do you like the garlic and pepper? It's really nice. I'm missing a little bit of vegetables, but I have a lot of salads here on the side, so that's fine. But the taste is really nice. One minute later. After a lovely morning and good lunch, we come back home. We take a shower and then we go for a nap because we still have to work around 8 hours later. <laughs> After the nap, we wake up, we open everything up, we make a coffee, and it almost feels like a new day is starting. This is our first time to work in this time zone and having this kind of schedule. For me it is a bit hard to stay concentrated so late and to work until around 12 o'clock in the night. But I actually like it. I feel much more productive during the night than during the morning hours. And we're back at our coffee station. He really makes the best coffees in town. And for all the digital nomads out there, the internet speed in Thailand is very decent in most of the parts. But for my online meetings, I usually use the 4G due to the stability. I bought a SIM card with unlimited data for around 25 euros per month. That was pretty okay. But let's go back to the fun stuff. Today we want to explore a little bit the south of the island. There's a really nice bar at the pirate beach which is called Pirasta Bar. And the mango shake here is incredibly good. I think it is the best mango shake they had in whole Thailand. While we were on the way back, we have found this nice restaurant and you know what they're selling? Fish tacos. For fish tacos in Thailand, they're so it's basically Thai style fish tacos or tacos in general. Um, we went various times to Mexico already to try the real deal uh, and they're not bad at all. They're really nice. Uh, the only thing is that the ta like the tortilla is made out of, it tastes like a pancake instead of maíz tortilla or tortilla de, de harina, but it's really nice. During our lunch breaks, which are here more our dinner breaks, we usually walk around the town, find some good food, have some more coffee and just enjoy the evening lights that will fall in over the town. So that's it for today's episode. Thank you for staying with us in Kolanta Old Town. 
We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, please. See you next week. Goodbye.